Hi everyone, this is Sonia again with a well bum for you. Today I am going to be talking about thought energy. So this is under the category of think well. This is one of my favorite quotes of all time. It is by Albert Einstein and he says, everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want to create and you cannot help but create it. It cannot be any other way. It's not psychology, it's physics. Albert Einstein. It's actually quantum physics. And it's the way that God created the world. The laws of physics and quantum physics are what Jesus was operating in and what he was teaching us when he was here on earth. First of all, let me repeat Einstein's quote. Everything is energy. That's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality that you want to create, and you cannot help but create it. It cannot be any other way. That's all there is to it. It's not psychology, it's physics. Okay, in Mark chapter 11, verse 24, Jesus says, and when you pray, pray believing. Let me, let me get this exactly here. Got it. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Not just believe in God or believe God answers prayer, but believe that you have received it. How would that feel? How would it feel to know that you are healed? How would it feel to know that you are financially secure enough to write books that will help people or to spend more time with your family? How does it feel to, to be strong and healthy and vibrant with more than enough energy to help others? How does it feel, whatever it is you're praying about, how does it feel if you really believe that that was answered and the mind, the way God created us, it only knows the present and it thinks in pictures. So if you get in touch with that feeling, with the picture, what does it look like? What does it feel like? If you believe, you would be so grateful. You would be so excited. That is the high vibration. That is the frequency that you are creating. And God is creator and he made us in his image and likeness. And he tells us to do these things. It's okay. It's the way he set up the world. Again, in Jesus, um, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, I believe, he says, don't worry about tomorrow, for each day has enough trouble of its own. Of course he doesn't want us to worry. He wants the best for us. If we're worrying about tomorrow, when tomorrow doesn't even exist yet, because all we have is now, and our mind is on that low vibration of worry, rather than the gratitude of having what we believe that we've asked for in prayer and it will be answered and it will be ours, we're going to create the thing that we dread. The actual thing that we're worrying about is going to work against us because that's a low vibration, that's a low frequency. Remember, in the book of Job, Job's worst fear came upon him. Okay, But even Paul tells us in Philippians chapter 4, Finally, brothers, whatever is good, whatever is noble, whatever is true, whatever is right, if there's anything lovely or admirable, excellent or worthy of praise, think on these things because that's the vibration that you're trying to match. That's going to bring more of those things into your life. That's the secret, but God's the one who set it up that way and he told us these things first. So I just want to encourage you, uh, stay in the present. You can only take breath in the now. You cannot take a past breath or a future breath. And dwell on good things. Until next time, eat well, move well, think well, and oil well.